Welcome everyone as we celebrate the third Sunday in Easter. And once again, as we do, I want to thank Sleeveless Bob, who is really sleeveless today, uh, for being here to do all of the camera work, and also uh, Lynn Bachenauer for singing. You know, both of them add so much to this. Number one, if I didn't have the cameraman, we would be done. I couldn't do it on my own. And I thank Lynn just for adding so much to our service. So we'll begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you are the mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you handed over, and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. And now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, let your face shine on us. When I call to you, answer me, O my just God. 
you who relieve me when I am in distress, have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the lightning, light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter to John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. Those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments are liars, and truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. And while they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought they were seeing a ghost. And then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do, you quest why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And while they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? And they gave him a piece of baked fish, and he took it and ate it in front of them. And he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the Law of Moses and in the Prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. And then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. First, there was a Friday night of black rain as if God had forgotten his promise to Noah. Next, there was a century of a Saturday, a day that never saw him smile. And finally, near the end of the longest night, before a stone the size of 12 men around a fire, 
that gave off cold, three hooded forms stood watch. The first of those hooded forms was death. There is no fat on the face of death, the first to speak. His mouth is a black hole, and each word echoes like it traveled a great hollow tunnel to arrive at his lips. It is a question of the largest mouth. The rabbit eats the grass, the fox eats the rabbit, man eats the fox, and I eat man. He who eats last dines forever. And so if a passerby would ask, who rules this life? Point him to this stone and tell him that I am inside, dissembling the handiwork of God. The second person to speak in that hooded form was sin. Eloquently pleaded death, the lounging figure by the fire raised a palm of protestation, but falsely asserted, I sin, parade as possibility. I pollute the dreams of the young and wait for a harvest of betrayal. I say, buy silk suits and ties of gold so no one will know the electricity of your mind is greed and the 70 beats of your pulse are lust and the movement of your muscles mere envy. I reign from inside. And so, if a passerby would ask, who rules this life? Point him to this stone and tell him I am inside, claiming the failed believer and dreamer. The third hooded figure to speak was fate. No sooner had sin stopped than fate was on his feet. I do not rattle bones like you, death, or wait for clouds to gather in the blue eyes of innocence like you, sin. I have twin straws dipped deep into their hope and freedom, and I drain them empty of struggle, their faces whitened into resignation. So, if a passerby would ask, who rules this life? Point him to this stone and tell him that I am inside overseeing what was meant to be. Now, the sun, which Ecclesiastes says always rises, broke the night of fierce debate, but no rooster greeted it. Instead, a stone the size of twelve men moved like a mountain on its way to the sea, and on the fresh wind of morning came the Son of Man, his shroud a wedding garment, his feet between earth and air in dance. Death, sin, and fate poured rhetoric into the stirring air about them. But the silent Son of God only danced to the music beyond their words. He whirled around death, and with each turn, death himself grew old, till it, with a last unbelievable look, he saw no more. Then, wordless, Christ spun around the words of sin, till a stammer started, sound choked, and finally, there was only a mouth without a voice. Next, fate heard the risen footsteps and frost formed on his tongue. As Christ leapt before him, 
He froze in mid-syllable, iced by the warmth of God. Now, there was only the morning and the dancing man of the broken tomb. The story says he dances still. And that is why, down to this day, we lean over the beds of our babies and in the seconds before sleep, tell the story of the undying dancing man. So the dream of Jesus will carry them to dawn. Descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us of our sins. And fellow Christians, pray that the gifts and the Mass that we offer may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness 
through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but especially during this Easter season, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as without end they acclaim. <laughs> so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Donald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace be with everyone. And Thank you for joining us. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ Keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Thanks.